Hey everybody, welcome back to the Canning Nana. Okay, so these are my dried banana chips. And what I do is I take them out before they're really hard and crispy. And then I let them sit on this paper um, for probably about three or four hours. So these are not completely hard. These are these are kind of crispy, or not crispy, they're, they're um, soft, and that's how I like them. And that's how everybody likes them here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take them all off of here, and you can see they, they really didn't discolor. Um, I'm, I've got a lot of questions. People ask me what I do to um, not, not make them turn brown. And you can see that they are a little bit brown, but they're not, they're not totally discolored um, from, you know, they're not brown, brown. I didn't put any citric acid in this. When you peel, when you, when you cut your bananas, you can put um, them in a bowl of citric acid and water. Um, and they, that'll stop it from turning this color. But I like natural banana chips. Um, I don't like the crispy, crispy ones. These are nice and soft. Um, and they're going to stay really well in a mason jar and, um, and they're really good. So if you have, um, kids at home that love bananas and you have, um, overripe bananas, this is the perfect thing to do with them. They, believe me, I have six grandkids and, um, five of them love the banana chips that I make. They absolutely love it. So this is nothing. I usually make about six or seven, maybe ten trays of banana chips, and they literally don't last through the week. So when I have my, my grandchildren here, um, they eat them like candy. Thank goodness my grandchildren don't like junk food. They eat uh, fruit. They eat vegetables. They eat... Um, you know the good stuff they don't they don't know junk food they've never really been introduced to it and which is a really good thing um, so this is what they've grown up eating uh, especially at Nana's house this is what we do and they've always helped me do this um, it's a really fun project for you to do with your kids you can do this in the oven if you don't have a dehydrator put your oven at the very very lowest temperature um, put your bananas on wax paper if you have it. Um, this, I don't know what this is called. I have to look this up. Um, this is specifically made for an Excalibur dehydrator. So if I put these directly on my stainless steel trays, they would stick. And on here, they do not. So, um, so what I do is I, I, they literally come right off. They just, they, they peel right off. <clears throat> so I put them in a mason jar um, everybody eats them as they want just like the pineapple and this is nothing this is six bananas and they're not gonna last the next couple days <laughs> guaranteed and um, I will probably bring them to work with me when I go back in uh, a week or so I'm looking forward to that um, but yeah, this is the best thing. They have no additives, no sugar, no, these have no MSG, no citric acid, no nothing. So really healthy for you. Pure bananas, just dehydrated, no added sugar. Great for the kids. So um, please try it and enjoy. And um, please comment if you will and let me know what you think. Um, let me know what you want to see dehydrated. I have a lot of things to do for, uh, for dehydrating, and um, yeah, I want your suggestions always, you know, that's why I'm here, you guys. Um, let me know what you want to see, dehydrating, canning, whatever you want, and I will try to get that done for you. <clears throat> so there you go. These are going to go into a half pint jar because they're not going to last through the week, guaranteed. Um, I may do apples next because I do have a lot of apples um, to do and somebody asked me about the apples. I do not put 
citric acid on the apple apples at all. Um, you can, I just don't like to. I have plenty of the ball fresh citric acid. I have plenty of it and I do use it in certain things, but um, the fruit that my grandkids eat, the fruit that we eat, it doesn't go in that. So, um, yeah, I, I just, I really watch what we eat. And that's the reason I can and dehydrate, uh, you know, and uh, preserve 90% of our food. So, here you go. If you have any questions, please comment. Um, please subscribe. If you're not subscribed, help me build my channel and... Um, uh, you know, that's, that's what I'm here for. We're at 4,200. When we, when we reach 4,500 subscribers, I am going to be doing a giveaway of a ball canning book or a dehydrating book, depending on what you're into. Um, and we'll see how many of each I give away, depending on how much, um, how many subscribers I get between now and then. We're um, we're growing like crazy and, um, it's kind of cool because people are not questioning why I can anymore. They're more interested in, um, learning to can, learning to preserve food, um, for emergencies like we're going through now with food shortages and things like that. So, um, I'm glad you guys are all here. And I appreciate each and every one of you guys. So thank you for watching. And um, I will see you again soon. Bye.